so a little bugbear of mine is when people say, Oh my god, I've eaten so much, I'm going to get diabetes. Because I know that they mean, Oh, I've eaten so much sugar, I'm going to get diabetes. And not, Oh, I've eaten so much sugar, I'm going to gain weight and then get diabetes. So there are two main types of diabetes, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the insulin producing cells in your pancreas, or beta cells, are destroyed by your immune system. It is an autoimmune disease. So no amount of sugar in your diet has caused or can ever cause you to get type 1 diabetes. With type 2 diabetes, you are more likely to get it if you are overweight and you gain weight when you take in more calories than you burn off. And sugary foods and drinks contain a lot of calories. So you cannot eat much sugar, but eat lots of fatty foods and gain weight and then develop type 2 diabetes. Diabetes UK have said that there are studies which suggest that abdominal fat causes fat cells to release pro-inflammatory chemicals or cytokines, which can make the body less sensitive to the insulin it produces by disrupting the function of insulin responsive cells and their ability to respond to insulin, which as you may already know is called insulin resistance. And having excess abdominal fat is known as central or abdominal obesity, and this is a particularly high risk form of obesity for type 2 diabetes. And that's it. Sugar doesn't directly cause diabetes, but maybe people have gotten confused because those with diabetes have to keep an eye on their glucose levels. I don't know. I don't know. And Diabetes UK have said that the good news is that reducing your body weight by even a small amount can help improve your body's insulin sensitivity and lower your risk of developing cardiovascular and metabolic conditions such as type 2 diabetes, heart disease, um, stroke and certain types of cancer. And according to the NHS, the glorious thing that it is, a 5% reduction in body weight followed by regular moderate intensity exercise could reduce your type 2 diabetes risk by more than 50%. And that's a lot. That's a lot, dudes. Dudes. But there is this misconception that sugar causes diabetes, like directly, somehow, chemically. Magic. But it doesn't. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to say, is that sugar does not cause diabetes. Don't